Hip hip. And we're about set to get started immediately with Mutos. Mutos is an RPG maker. Actually, I'll wait for the descriptions to actually run inside the game. Adjusting audio levels. Hopefully that's good. Unless, of course, the music turns out to be really loud, really quiet. All right, just Justin, you all can see and hear the stream, right? The ability to see and hear are both within all of your guys' abilities. All right, seeing and hearing is a check. Just sorting out Windows stuff right now. All right, perfect. And good. No lines for anyone. And by the way, G Cup, please do not use bold italics or underline. We have a rule against it because it's just unintentionally or maybe intentionally eye catching, but it turns out to be more annoying than it is anything productive. Take a sip of orange juice. I now then, hey everyone. This is that introduction thing I'm about to do for every single video thing there. Hey everyone, this is Esco Makas That Gamer, and this is Mutos. Evidently by Promenary. Or Promeny. I don't know much about it. It's an RPG Maker game. Let's hop right into it. Um first of all, either our character is pregnant or has some of the saggiest boobs in the world, and she's not wearing pants. Oh, is she gonna is this like a scale she's gonna test her weight? Or that was incredibly what? Uh uh We're already straight into this? I'm not gonna question anything. All I know is that there's giant green monsters chasing me. This was abrupter than even I expected. So I was about to say subtlety is a rock, but then there's a fucking rock in front of me, so there goes my dialogue. It's the rock of. Uh, I am Elsa. I'm a psychonaut. It's not. Anyways, items. Nothing. Save. There. That rock is uh, stuttering very intently right now. Can't actually interact with it, but it's definitely there. Oh, we're getting straight into the heart of this one already. Ignoring the fact that there's green dino men, is that what they are? I think this door needs, yeah, this door definitely needs a key. I go the other way then. You can't run in this game, I'll make that mention right now. Running is not in my abilities. Running's always the same button in these type of games, so. Just gotta avoid the green dinosaurs and find our way upward. Okay, so there has to be a key somewhere in a giant labyrinth full of green dino men. I mean, I, I'm not exactly sure if that's the basic known fact, but it's certainly what I'm doing. Now they're just spamming these dinos at me. I, what, let, me let me look at the next... That's a lot of naked me. Statue naked me. Oh wait, here's the key, isn't there? I think that was the key. Yep, green key. With a green door, a goodbye statues of me. How am I supposed to get by the green dino man if he's like literally blocking my way there? Oh, it takes you back to the very beginning if you get caught. I get it. It isn't just like... Like, I need to explore this area. I was going to say, it's not just taking you back to the game in the room. It'll take you to the very beginning of the whole entire game. So, better be careful. Uh, 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 I don't have to recollect my key, though, do I? No, you keep any keys you've collected. That's nice. Alright, I'm just making sure there wasn't anything I missed inside this room. Nope, I'm getting caught by a dinosaur. So, the moral of this game is, if you happen to be this particular girl, ignore stuttering rocks and green dinosaurs. I think there's a little, a little bit of all of us in that moral lesson. Door automatically opened. Now there's a blue thing I'm supposed to touch. Well, subtlety's been thrown out of the fucking window. Let's see where this is going. I don't know if they're dinosaurs. They kind of look like dinosaurs, so I'm assuming they are. They, they're kind of just green men. There's me either playing a game, rubbing my back against a rock, or something. Yumaneki-style sounds coming out of it, though. Only way forward happens to be forward. To a factory? Yep, it's a factory. Full of people with little one-eyes. Why are there so many rocks in this game that have one eye? 
I'm not gonna question. Actually, there's nothing else here. Going upward. Going to Money's Mix Monk Spank. Oh, I'm supposed to form a path through these things. Got it. Yep. So I'm sure there's some strong quote unquote symbolism here. Haven't quite figured out anything of the sort yet. Can I go upward or sideways? There's me on the computer again. Anything this thing wants? Nothing a whole lot in all these directions. To the right, to the right. You may be saying, what the hell is going on in this game, but trust me, that's not an uncommon reaction when you play something that's random ass in indie games. I jumped inside water, is that a mustache? Mustaches are the new dinosaurs, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna go to the left first this time, because I feel like that's gonna also give me the uh, wrong way to go. Statues of me and moving mustaches. Little choo-choo looking thing inside a pool that looks like a giant talking ton. Nope, never mind, need a key again. This is kind of like a remix of the green area we were just in. Now it's blue, though. If you need a mustache to attack you, you know what to ignore. I mean, I'm not sure if that's actually a mustache, but I mean, it looks like a mustache. It probably feels like a mustache, thus it's most likely a mustache. Hi, uh, I was thinking of the Yuminiki connections here, too. It definitely kind of seems like I took inspiration from it. But yes, more nonsensical. I'm trying to avoid all the mustaches, though, because... Oh, there's the key. I needed the key. Now I can get caught by any goddamn mustache I want. Just... Ignoring everything? Ignore everything, you collect, and run? Alright. I have a cough coming on. I'm gonna hold it in, though. Ignoring ton monsters and the fact that this key has automatically already used itself. Let's go straight on ahead. I mean, I can't imagine this game being entirely too long. Gotta catch the gold that's trying to run away and all. Deep in the middle of the forest, I ran away around in Pansu. There's a... Uh, giant cow ant monsters now? I don't fucking know. They're there, though. Going to ignore them. I'm just going to assume that friendliness is not on the menu. Which me or educated me wants me to talk to the mustache. I've done so. Transported again from school. Talking to this thing. Never mind. Octopus men are also really bad, apparently. So just ignore them? Silly octopus creatures. I'm going to assume the key's on the right side. There's a very agitated rock again. And then probably the way that needs a keyhole is on the left side. Yep, easy enough to dodge once you got the. Fuck, they've reversed it. However, though, notable is that one of the statues, all the statues here are dressed differently. All right, well, ignoring that little small fact, let's just ignore octopus man woman thing. Let's see. Make the obvious joke. You never know where it might lead one. Hip hip. Tentacle involving jokes, cause why the hell not? Upward, outward, every word. I'm going to assume the right way is probably the right way. Ha 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 ha. Nope, dead end. They decided to make this more and more maze like. You know, I'm not an expert, but maybe this is the final area. I think that partially because of the music is all ooh spooky. Not to mention all the sort of black despair motif of the whole entire location. Is it gonna be like human Nikki and I have to pass through this? Just doing that in case that somehow was actually the solution. Would definitely be a human Nikki like solution. There's the key, I see it. It's gotta find one's way over there then. Music fading out, so I think I have a little bit of time. Aha! I've outsmarted everyone. Thusly, and again, items have all the keys. With the best descriptions ever, such as blue key means blue key, red key means I don't actually have a red key, but I do have a yellow key. Alright. I'm... Can I actually... Yeah, I can just get caught in return, right? That's actually a little bit faster than me walking all the way backwards. It sounds like the music is trying to communicate with me. Probably has nothing meaningful to say, though. 
Now I should avoid octopus enemy for a small bit, and door should be open. To the finale of the game, to be seen. Well, everyone seems pretty excited to see me. Oh, it was actually a witch. I just thought I was imagining things. Brave Elsa, seeker of worlds. The realm that you have entered is just one beginning that has uh, many ends. And you will find your end in the next departure. Venture on, dear Psychonaut, for each time the realm will not be so friendly. Until then, stay safe. That was really the whole entire game. I say it was it was forgettable. Stance on it is that um, this seems like a game one could make as a practice sort of game, I guess. I mean, I'm sure there's some deep symbolism there, but yeah, yeah. Just going to ignore that. On to the next. Shame's gonna stop and start for a second, then we'll be right back. First game disappointing, but how it works? 